of those two seas. Norway's Mindalgas Gedminas to take on Hungary's Pilip Akilov. Akilov uh, has come through thanks to two unanimous decisions. And Gedminas, uh, the Norwegian, spent his first 15 years in Lithuania. Has some judo and Muay Thai in his background, multiple Norwegian championships. He lost his first bout at the 2023 European Games to Ireland's Cassidy that you mentioned, who has moved on. Well, he's he, already through yes, to the he is. finals. He's one away from a trip to Paris. And Gidmanis get tested by Shangalawe. 3-2 split decision yeah we we saw that bout and he he was a bit more in control than that split decision would suggest akilov um he beat britain's taylor bevan in his opening bout and then defeated austria's lucky imafua in in good style he was pretty comfortable against the young austrian akilov with those socks a nod to his lithuanian background Minas occupying the center of the ring. Four time Scandinavian champion. Need his shorts adjusting. He's referee happy to let him continue, and Akilov coming forward. Minas looked very solid in his previous bout. Midway through the first round. That was a big right from Gedminas. Best punch of the contest so far. Halfway through round one. Maybe he's moved ahead a little bit in the eyes of the judges. Plenty of time for Akilov to come back, and he's trying. Won't be any long delays in this bout. Get right back to it. Akilov makes his man miss and starts to try and unload on the ropes. Oh, two huge misses. <laughs> Oh, that was better from Gedminas. He sized up that shot. Got a couple in back to back there. Just over 30 seconds to go in the opening round. Not too much in it, but I think Gedminas, yes. with a couple of power punches, might have edged it. Still a chance for Akilov to flurry his way to. Maybe some points. Just backed off at the end of yeah, the round, did. though. Yes, he did. And again, he's, if they scored on biggest misses, attempts, uh, Akilov would be right there. But I think we're going to see the numbers favoring the Norwegian. And what do I know? Akilov across the board, 10-9. That's why I'm here talking to you, Rory. Well, I'm surprised it was across the board. That was a good overhand right from Akilov. That was the best punch of the round. That changes things because now uh, Gibmanis has to uh, battle back, certainly. You would have thought he was maybe in better shape coming into round two. He's, been, he's still right there, but he needs to go through and win this round now. First real pressure for the Norwegian, in addition to the ring pressure from the Hungarian, of course. Oh, 
Gedminas up against it. He can't afford to drop the second round. A combination from the Norwegian. Again from Gedminas, although Akilov fires back. And the only thing Akilov has to worry about, other than that man in front of him, is in the warnings that could lead to a deduction. But we haven't seen much as we did Friday night. There was a lot Friday afternoon and evening. And uh, now they're just wailing away. Trading in the middle of the ring. There was a very solid right from Gedminas, which landed. men landing shots as we pass the midway point of round two. This time it's Gedminas with the wild miss. Combination body and head from Gedminas. Back comes Akilov. And it's warming up this one as Akilov goes on the attack. Gedminas felt that last shot from Akilov backing away, regrouping. <laughs> 40 seconds to go in round two as Gedminas goes hunting for his man. Well, there's a left and some body work. And again, Akilov misses wildly, but well, he's in charge of this until we see what the judges think about round two. And there's a little bit of something for each one to feel good about here. It's a round that Gedminas has to win, and Akilov's finishing it the stronger. He is. There is the bell, and... I dare say there'll be some anxious moments in the Norwegian corner. Is he back in this? All five judges again for Akilov. And now Gedminas left needing a stoppage in round three. Possible. Again with the power of these two men, it's possible. <laughs> Akilov has, has done well staying mostly out of the way and able to score some body shots. And the hook has worked. I mean, he's in full control now. I mean, there's very little to choose between them. And it, it feels... A little unfair on Gedminas to be two points down on all five scorecards, if I'm honest. Uh, well, I agree with you, but I showed you at the end of round one, I was all all on board with uh, Gedminas, and I was proven very wrong. So just over two and a half minutes left for the Norwegian to find a winning punch. A winning combination he needs to get his man out of there. If he's going to make the quarterfinals. It's our penultimate, penultimate bout of the afternoon. We've got a cracker in store for the last one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you have been, you teased it in the open. You said stick around and uh, it's almost here. It is. Still two minutes to go. Of this contest, Gedminas needs to load up that right hand. Makilov turning his back, which, as we've said, is not, not a good idea. But I, I was about to say how comfortable he looks now. 
a feeling that he's in charge. Oh, there was both men landing big shots and taking them very well. Akilov with the hands low. As Gedminas charges forward. Left on the retreat from Akilov. And the clock is his friend as he runs it out a little bit. Staying clear of any potential trouble, although he'll still throw his when he can. Well, that's the classic. I'm not holding, but I am holding right. to the referee. And Running the clock down. Gedminas is getting through with a couple of shots, but he needs something very big. Akilov has plenty left here to blunt any thought from Gedminas. And uh, we're counting down to the arrival of Filip Akilov into the quarterfinals, which puts him one win away from Paris. Now Akilov very much on his bike. Gedminas trudges back to his corner. Akilov celebrates. Pretty evenly matched contest, but Akilov two points up on all five scorecards after two rounds. Yeah, that wonder what he was answering. The, the I don't know. Maybe thought he had done better early. There's uh, not a lot of drama here. It will be a unanimous points decision in favor of the man in blue. Just get confirmation of that. Akilov into the quarterfinals. One win away from a place at the Olympic Games Paris 2024. Well done. There's a lot to like about his approach. And you see the... I just love to see that, you know, after just trying to take each other's head off. They go <laughs> over and say uh, good luck and well done. We see some of the highlights from that contest. And if you were to look just at the highlights in isolation, you'd have thought it was a very, very close bout. Absolutely. There are the final numbers and all five judges giving all three rounds to the Hungarian. Said one win away from Paris 2024.